Hey guys, it's Bianca from Plan, Live, and Travel. How are you today? I know, long time no see. I am doing a memories plan with me. I'm using the kits called The Pumpkin King from Savannah Paper Co. Super excited. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. That is my, my favorite movie of all time. It's definitely a classic. I watch it, no lie, twice a year at least. I have to watch it on Halloween and also on Christmas Day, believe it or not, because it's also a Christmas movie <laughs> in my eyes. I don't know. Yeah, that's how I am. That's that's me. Anywho, I also used um, a couple of different foils. I didn't put foil on the bottom washi and you guys will see that. I was looking at it. And I'm just like, I don't want to ruin the washi. Like, I don't. So this washi that I am using is Hi Luna. She came to say hi and she was shaking up the camera. So I do apologize that for that because every single time she walked on the table because the setup thingy that was holding my phone from re-recording is hooked up to the table. So I will have to rearrange that because every single time I move the table, the camera moved. So hopefully no one gets motion sickness from this video. But the washi I did use is from Scroll Prints Co. I don't have the black washi from Savannah Paper Co. I ordered it this um, weekend that I'm showing the plane with me. So technically last weekend for this voiceover because today is Monday. But yeah, I am using my recollections planner. I got it on clearance. So it's the 2019 to 2020. So I am using my date covers, obviously, but I film, you know, as you guys can look at it, you're like, why are you? I'm filming or planning in 2019 because I didn't want to keep going like further down in the planner. <laughs> so I jump backwards. <laughs> I'm all over the place, you guys. But yeah, that's what date dots are for. You can use any planner at any time because there's date covers and date dots. So yeah. I made it work. Um, the sidebar, I'm going to do my normal gratitude um, listing. I like to have it the Monday through Sunday so I could pick a day, what I was thankful for, for each day. That way it's it could be something different, you know. I was practicing my mad skills of putting down the color washi or um, glitter headers. Be proud of me. I was proud of myself. I was concentrating very, very hard. <laughs> It takes a lot of brain power, but yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it for sure. But yeah, how crazy. How have you guys been? I missed you guys. Some of you guys have been messaging me. Hello, where's your videos? And I'm like, I'm sorry. It has been crazy. I talked a little bit about it when I was, um, when I went live for the day to day thing. I talked a little bit about, um, after my surgery and moving and then going to Florida for my sister's wedding and then coming after only being in Texas for a week, like after moving, I was literally in the house unpacking everything while I was still recovering. And I was only here for a week and stress level was high. I was nauseous almost every day. I don't, I wasn't truly in pain. It did hurt my knee though. So gay for that. But luckily we had friends that helped us pack up the U-Haul and everything and poor Vince did a lot of the carrying because I still wasn't able to carry anything over 15 pounds so he definitely had his work workout cut for him um as soon as we got here in Texas we emptied out the car and then we left the U-Haul for the next day unloaded the U-Haul and then returned the U-Haul and I literally started unpacking and Luckily, the kitchen had a lot of things that I so I didn't have to go through my kitchen stuff and unpack it. And it's it's a small kitchen. It's doable, but it's small. So um, I put all of our kitchen stuff that we didn't need that I that I bring with us just in case because not all everyone has everything that we need Threw it in the closet. So everything got unpacked and put away except for my office. My office literally had totes and stuff just thrown in it. And, uh, which is fine. It's fine. You know what? It was okay. So went to Florida, was there for a week, 
spend time with family and everything. And um, I was still not feeling the best. I still was feeling sick. So I don't know if it was stress related. Mom and I thought it was stress related. So she thought like if I was there, I would feel better. Um, half true, half not. <laughs> In the beginning, I did not feel better. But I think I got better once I started like coming back home and everything. And um, it all worked out. So it was a wonderful wedding. It was a wonderful time. We, um, she got married at Amariaville. Amaria, Amariaville, like what is that? It's like Margaritaville on Amaria Island. Like what the heck? I need to get my wedding straight. Um, she got married on the beach. It was super nice. It was definitely hot. <laughs> I um not used to that type of heat anymore with the humidity since we've been traveling. We've been a, up north a lot. Now, granted, we're in Texas, but right now we have a cold front. So, and I'm I'm indoors. So I haven't had a chance to really deal with a lot of heat per se with humidity. So that was something to get used to, but it was fine. Survived. It was the beach, right? You have to go. I went to the beach once and burned, of course. <laughs> I am so white. Like I am so pale because I've been up north and just been inside. So it's not cool. It's not cool. I need to get my tan back. But anywho, it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. So yeah, afterwards came back, started working on doing listings and doing vinyls, custom vinyls. I do offer custom vinyls. If you guys wanted one now, there's a form in my link tree in my Etsy account so if you guys follow me on Instagram you can go to my link tree in my bio and then it will have a there's a form that says custom vinyl because I don't have my DC license or Marvel license stuff like that so um I've been making stick you know vinyls and we've been selling it on Vince's Instagram for the auctions and stuff like that. So I do make custom ones. So if you guys want one that's, you know, that you want one that's custom that I can't show because I don't have a license and that's how, that's how, that's how it works. So keep it under hush, hush, the low, low. But anyways, basically. So yeah, I've been having fun. Um, I made more vinyls because I originally wanted to open up my shop way before I had my surgery. So Halloween is like literally my favorite Halloween. So Halloween is literally my favorite Halloween. Okay. Holiday. I meant to say holiday. Whatever. See, I've been gone for so long that I can't even talk. But yeah, Halloween's my favorite holiday. So I really wanted to open up my shop in time for Halloween, but clearly that didn't happen. So that's fine. So I'm getting ready for doing Christmas because in the planner world, we have to plan ahead and Good freaking Lord, I will try to jump on that train. I don't like seeing Christmas stuff when it's not even Halloween, but I understand that people have to plan and be ahead. So in the planning world, I have to get on board. I'm just going to have to. But I started getting some Christmas stuff together. You guys will have to let me know if there's certain things you want to see. Um, but yeah, I am definitely bringing a variety of vinyls. I can't wait to show you guys. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek just talking it about it real quick. I have camping, I have pets, I have fishing. One of them for Christmas says Dear Santa, I can explain. There's a lot. You guys will love them. All right, now I can talk to you guys live. All right, so the stand is hooked up to the table, so I'm going to try very hard not to shake the table because then it shakes the camera and then people get motion sickness and you know, that's not fun. And I really wish I brought more lighting out, but I didn't. And um, if I get up, I'm gonna end up probably kicking Luna out because she's right there. I'm waiting for her to jump up on the table and shake it again. She's been bad, you guys, she's bad, bad to the bone. Look, there she goes. You guys can't see her, but she's like literally right there walking across. She's been jumping on the chairs, attacking them. I have saran wrap around them because 
This is not our place. We moved. We are now in Texas. Jesus, camera shaking. Um. So yeah. So we're renting the furniture. I mean, like the whole place that has the furniture, and she's just like terrorizing it. I have the claw, those caps that go on their claws. Um, I need Vince's help because he has to help hold her down so I can put those on. So we're going to test those out. Let me know if anybody else has used them before because this will be our first time using them. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I talked about this because I haven't done my, whatchamacallit, um, you know, the voiceover yet, but crap, now I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Let's do cold. We had a, like a, a um, I was, I was gonna say like a cold breeze, but it was <laughs> a cold front come through and it was like a bit chilly, a bit, bit chilly, which is nice. I'll take it. I will take it. So let's do, I guess. Oh, that's perfect. So that's food. Perfect. All right. So yeah, Monday morning, kind of woke up. It was chilly, made an egg sandwich, and then got to work. Been working on my Etsy shop, so doing listings, stuff like that. I also make vinyls for my husband's auction. I'll leave a link in the description box down below if I remember. It's Headspace Comics. So if you guys want to buy some comic books or know someone that likes to buy comic books and stuff like that, that's what he sells. And then I come in with some custom vinyls and stuff like that. So it's been fun. It's been crazy busy, but it's been fun. Oh, I shouldn't have put that upside down, but oh well. Jack's upside down. Ah! It'll be fine. And then let's see. Let's do a box. I haven't done a box yet. So I've been working on that. I cooked Monday, I believe. I haven't been writing in my planner, which is bad. So I'm kind of like making up this week from what I can remember and what I did. So the days might not like truly match up to what I really did, but it's okay. I feel like I've done most of these things. <laughs> Some of these things, I was like, I haven't lied. And I was like, well, some of these things, like I was supposed to paint my nails Sunday and I still have the sticker down, but clearly I didn't. Um, or I was actually supposed to paint my nails before that because my costume, I needed black nail polish for my costume. But since my co color contacts didn't come in, I was like, what's the point? So my mom, who's going to be here Wednesday, uh, my mom and my dad... This is my first time my dad's come to visit while we traveled. And it's mostly because his brother's here, so it gave him more of an incentive. <laughs> I think it's like, come visit me. Okay. <laughs> so they actually went to go visit uncle, my, my uncle, his brother. And um, they're still over there, and then they're going to come over, which is going to be awesome. So I just have to make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done. So then I can have. To finish cleaning up the house and get their room ready which is like my office so my office is a mess you guys a mess but anyways yeah I I cooked I did an Instagram post I took pictures so what I do is what's easier for me is I get all my pictures done that I need for Instagram and some people schedule their Instagrams um for some reason I don't I don't know why like I'll take my pictures and it can't be that much harder to like go on the app and schedule it, but I don't. <laughs> I'm special. I don't know if I want to mess up my bottom washi. I really didn't want the foil on my bottom washi. I think that's like one of the first very few times. So maybe I'll put like the countdowns to Halloween like up top because I really don't want to mess up that washi. It's so pretty. But yeah, I took my pictures, talked to Twinsy, of course. I talk to Twinsy every day. At least I tried to. I don't know. Maybe this week around. I probably didn't talk to her every day. We've been getting busy, busy, busy bees. So I kind of want to cover up Tuesday with $2 Tuesday. Because that's like a real day. It's not Tuesday. It's $2 Tuesday. 
So yeah, um, then we watched Naruto. We're rewatching Naruto, so we're at Naruto Shippuden, just in case any anime fans out there. Um, we're rewatching that. Still watching Tokyo Ghoul. I think I have like two more episodes of season three and then I'm done. It's got kind of weird on season three. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of like, what is happening? But still love the storyline. It's really cool. And yeah. I don't remember when Mandalorian came out, so we're gonna make up that day. <laughs> There's a day somewhere where I put Disney, you know, watching Disney Plus and I have a Baby Yoda sticker, so, or the child. I really can't say Baby Yoda anymore because when I watched this past episode, I realized the timeline and I'm like, oh, you ain't no Baby Yoda, you the child. Like, <laughs> it's completely, completely not Yoda. 100% not Yoda. So, but it's still like engraved in my head to call it Baby Yoda. It's the child. Anywho, I just realized I put two icons back to back like that. Ugh. Whatever. It's been a while since I did a plan with me, you guys. And you guys know this because you haven't watched any of my videos. So, because I haven't had anything new. <laughs> so, excuse me that I'm like totally like just out of it. Just like la 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 la. So yeah, for Tuesday, definitely worked on listings. I checked my email. I made grilled cheese for lunch. I think we're going kind of, no, we're not going out of order. Sometimes for lunch, I've been having coffee in the afternoon versus morning coffee. So I probably just put my coffee sticker sporadically wherever. This one I probably didn't even need a day extender so we're just gonna like spread it out there's coffee time we got some cute clearance happening and then let's use I guess another fancy label down here yeah I only have like two more things so we're just gonna spread this out a bit and then I did some designing put that down I don't know why I'm not using my tweezers I'm just like boom I got this, who needs tweezers? Anyways, how have you guys been? Oh my goodness gracious, I'm still alive. Um, it's been crazy. So I didn't do a plan with me, memory plan with me or any plan with me. So you guys have no idea what's been going on. But um, after my surgery, we kind of had to quickly like move. So we moved from Idaho to Texas and we did that less than a week with two cats and a U-Haul. So I'm very proud of ourselves. And then I think we were only here for a week and then my sister was getting married. So flew to Florida and went to her wedding, was there for about a week. And I was still kind of like, not 100% my like best yet. Like I, I think I was still like in recovery mode and um so it wasn't like the best i mean it was still a fun visit and i'm glad i like you know glad i went but at the same time it was just like i didn't want to be like not feeling good and then ruining the time there so i'm glad it it, it kind of worked out it kind of did but luckily there's i got some medicine and i survived came back home and basically got to work yeah because the office wasn't organized everything else was unpacked and put away um except for my office so when i first got back from florida that's what my big to do was was to get the office organized so then i can start to get my shop ready because we didn't know how long it would take me to recover from my surgery, even though it's not technically that big of a deal, surgery-wise. Um, I only say that because, I don't know, that's what I think, because I work in surgery. <laughs> like, I feel like the surgery is not that big of a deal, but then it's like, it's up to your body on when you want to recover, and I felt like I wasn't ready to go back full swing, and the hospital that Vince is at right now, where I would have been at, is extremely busy, so we wanted to make sure that I was like a thousand times ready to go because I didn't want to have to like call out because 
you know, my stomach was hurting or I wasn't feeling good, stuff like that. So we had to make sure like 100% like, all right, I'm healed, I'm ready to go. Hit me with your best shot basically. So, so I decided like, we both decided and talked about it since he was making good money here that I wouldn't work at the hospital, that I would try to open up my Etsy shop and get that started and then see how that goes and then decide for the next assignment if I need to work or if if I'm going to make enough in the shop and things like that. So hopefully I do make enough in the shop. I feel like after you've not been at work for a couple months, you kind of do want to go back and I feel like I really want to be my own boss. I don't know, there's something about it just really does excite me. And I'm really excited about the shop too. Not only that, it's like I'm bringing really cool things to the to the planner community. So I hope everybody jumps on board and likes what I have to offer in my shop, um, which I'll talk a little bit about it. I'm definitely doing dividers for um, planner covers. I'll have vellum. I'm still trying to get my printer, my laser printer to do better on acetate but I will have acetate, like foiled acetate and stuff like that. And then I will have vinyls. Now vinyls, oh my gosh, you guys, I am bringing like the most ridiculous amount of vinyls and like different types, like get ready. It's gonna be amazing. I will have a video of showing new releases and stuff like that and what I'm gonna be opening with my shop. So stay tuned for that. I will have a YouTube video for my shop. I don't know if I'm gonna switch this one out and keep plan love travel or just rename it to um, To my shop, which is Queen Bee dividers and more I haven't decided that yet because I know it still do play with me's but I think like I Would only have one channel Like I feel like if I had two separate channels, it would be a little ridiculous because I feel like I don't know. It would be nice to know the person you're shopping from. So that's why I was just like, I'll just keep one channel and have everything there. But yeah, so hopefully you guys were able to kind of see what I did. Um, breakfast, coffee, I cooked. Normally every other day I cook because then we have leftovers. I did work. There's Washi Wednesday. I did my post. Shopped with Amazon and watched more Naruto. Naruto. Stop shaking, it's aggravating me. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, so yeah, what else do I need to catch you up on? So as far as the shop goes, yeah. So I'm definitely going to have, we're on YouTube, I can show you guys the products. And what's, I don't know how often I'm gonna do that because then that means I have to print out, print and cut like everything. But I, I, I think it's fun when you when someone does that and other shops do that. I think it's enjoyable to see what they have to offer like physically in their hand. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. If you um if if you guys are, then I, I definitely will. Like I have no problem doing it. In fact, I printed and cut all the vinyls that I'm bringing to the shop because I'm gonna be having a give away so everything that I'm bringing to the shop almost everything because that's like a lot of stuff I will have a giveaway for and I might do that with every new release maybe I think that would be kind of fun to do like a small like giveaway maybe once a month maybe I don't know I'll have to I'll have to figure that out but I will have a giveaway as like a brand new shop like coming into the world kind of thing I think it'll be fun so stay tuned for that I definitely have to I have to film that part I didn't think like the lighting still kind of sucks so I might wait to film my new releases but when I do film this time around there will be a giveaway hooked up to it so make sure you guys are watching it and entering the giveaway because, you know, free vinyls, like what? Free stickers, say what? <laughs> you know? 
Not these stickers. I'm not making these stickers. I'm only doing like vinyls. Because this is not my forte. There's no way. Like I had such a long time to, <laughs> or it took me forever to really learn the silhouette and what I needed to do and stuff like that. I can't imagine trying to do stickers on top of that. Like, no, thank you. This is no, mm-mm. Kudos to every sticker shop out there. And I think my friends having their own sticker shop, like, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could open up one. You know, I'm just like, <clears throat> no. I'd rather do vinyls because I feel like the community needs more vinyls. I'm going to do more papers, dashboards. It's going to be so much fun, you guys. So much fun. You. so yeah I've been working still working hard behind the scenes you guys still doing it cut pizza night and half you guys I had pizza twice last week so don't judge me it's a thing it was really weird so oh let me talk about Thursday because that day was like really weird so throughout the week last week like the week before this week um I was getting like I was on my period, but I was, I was getting nauseous, like randomly, like it was really weird. I'd be like fine all morning. Then all of a sudden, Hey, you're nauseous. And I'm just like, Whoa, where did this come from? Like, what? Why? Why are you? Why? So it happened again Thursday. I was just like fine in the morning, made a grilled cheese or whatever. Or maybe I ate mac and cheese. That's what mac and cheese looks like right there. So maybe that's what I had. Anyways, I don't know. Um, and then all of a sudden it was just like, boom, hey, you're nauseous. And I'm just like, what is going on? And then there was one time where I was nauseous just looking at food. Like I was trying to go grocery shopping on Instacart and I was nauseous looking at the food. And I was like, oh, this isn't normal. Oh no. But I'm thinking, you know, when I had my period, which I was still on this week, it was during, it's the side of the ovary that I had my operation on. So I'm thinking maybe it's still recovering, you know, maybe it's still healing or something. Like it's just, maybe that's why I'm so nauseous or in pain and way more than normal. Who knows, right? So ugh. I was freaking out a little bit though, because I've been like on my birth control on and off because I'm horrible at taking pills. Horrible. That's why I had the implants, but they took it out during surgery. So, um, so yeah. So then I was just like, oh, what if I'm prego? <gasps> like I was like going through the emotions. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't be right now. That no, not yet. No, no, nope. My husband and I already talked about it once before. It's like actually when we were dating whether or not we wanted to have kids. And I never thought I was gonna have, I was ever gonna get married. So kids were, I already put it in my mind, like I wasn't gonna have kids. So if it happens, then I will still be the best mom ever. It's just, we're not planning on having kids, if that makes any sense. So I go, you need to grab a birth, con you know, like grab a pregnancy test just in case. So that's what, it's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. I'm nauseous, but I'm fine. It's okay, I'm not pregnant. Well, I took the test and I'm not, so everything is fine, but that's what I felt like with the dumpster fire. It was just like, <sighs> so many uncertainties, you know, you just, your mind just goes to a dark, dark, not a dark place, but you're just, you start freaking out and then you go down the rabbit hole. Oh, you guys. So my poor husband, I'm like, I message him at work. He was about to leave for work. And I was like, so you think you can stop by and get a pregnancy test? And he didn't respond to me for a while. And then he, I finally get a message saying, okay, I can do that. And I'm just like, he's probably freaking out. So, of course, as soon as he gets home, here you go, go pee. And I'm like, I don't have to pee right now. He's like, go pee. And then it was negative. So, it's fine. It's fine. But again, if it was positive, we would have been fine. We would have made things work. It's just <laughs> traveling. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine traveling and being pregnant. Uh, I literally put that right in the middle. And now I kind of want to 
somewhat add this to it. <laughs> That's really, really a lot. Where do I have shopping? Maybe I'll put it with shopping. So I have a countdown and then um, Savannah Paper Co. had her new releases and it was the Planner Mayhem sale Friday through the 2nd, which is what? Monday? I think it was through the 2nd. Maybe it was just Sunday. I don't remember when it ended. No, today's Monday. Today's the 2nd, so I think it did end the 1st. Normally, I think it's just for the weekend. But what do I know? I'm a horrible PR girl. <laughs> Don't don't ask me questions. I just I just don't know anymore. I don't know. So, anywho, so yeah, that was fun Thursday, and then we watched Naruto. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm gonna put down Happy Meal, and then I had coffee in the morning. Made breakfast. Don't know if I had. I've maybe had eggs. I ran out of eggs, you guys. I have to go food shopping. But I had to see if my mom wanted anything special as far as food goes. So she told me no, and I still haven't gone food shopping. So we'll survive. It's okay. We got some food. We have like a ton of leftovers because, of course, we had pizza again. So we have pizza in there. I'm going to do like a ground beef with... um cauliflower rice, maybe a packet of the regular brown rice with the whatever healthy crap it is, and then black beans. I like mixing all that together, so that's going to be a thing. Um, what else was I going to make? Oh, I have sausage that I'm going to throw in the Instant Pot, and I'm going to do bell peppers or, you know, some Florida peppers with it, and... Um, I have the steamed potatoes because I feel like if I buy potatoes, I forget that I have them in my pantry. So if they're frozen and in the freezer where you could just steam them in the bag, at least I know they're not going to go bad. So I bought steamable like potatoes. So we're going to have that at some point. So almost like bangers and mash, but without the mash, you know, it's okay. Or just have bangers. Bangers and mash. So. Anywho. So yeah, we got Happy Meal. Woo woo. Fridays. Um, Vince is off on Fridays. He works four tens. So kind of got up. Did some package. Some orders that he had to ship out for his shop. And then. Um, we did some. Oh yeah. I wanted the grocery run was because I wanted to get a pumpkin because I wanted to carve a pumpkin. I realized that we didn't get a, a pumpkin yet. And I was like, we have to carve a pumpkin. Like, that's been a tradition. So when we went to the post office, the, the closest grocery store is Walmart. That's right across, like, almost right across the street from our house. So we went inside Walmart, and they didn't have any pumpkins. They didn't even have a bin for pumpkins. So I guess they weren't selling them? I don't know. And I'm just like, what the heck? So I ordered food that day. Oh, now it's coming together. What did I order? I ordered tacos. That's right. And I don't have a sticker for that. That's okay because today was, there's too many stickers as it is. So we'll just live with it. But um, yeah, I ordered tacos to pick up. So then, look at that. I already finished the sheet. So we couldn't go to another grocery store. So we just picked up the tacos, came home. Um, I got some more stuff done as far as vinyls and working. I was trying to get the vinyls that I was making for the the live for his um, auction. So his comic book auction. So got a lot of stuff done around the house as well. It was also payday. Worked on the computer, and then I talked to my mom because this is the day that she was heading to Texas from Florida. They were driving. I'm pretty sure my mom wanted to fly, but my dad's like, no, we'll drive. Actually, no, I think, the, well, he said no because 
they were bringing him, my uncle, um, a ping pong machine, you know, where you put your quarter in and you hit the buttons on the side and that you does that thing. Yeah, so my dad had one. It's super old. I remember playing with it when I was a kid. I'm going to cut these up while I talk and make them into littles. But I remember playing it as a kid, and it's been in the garage, like, forever. So I don't know if Uncle Tom is fixing it up or whatever. So he took that. He also took their mom, my grandma, who passed, um, took her stereo as well. So they were driving down with the ping pong machine and the stereo. So full car load, that's for sure. I mean, they didn't bring the truck. So, cause I guess they were afraid if it rained. So they have everything in the Highlander. <laughs> my mom was like, I was so tired. I couldn't put my seat back cause the back was so full. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that sounds awful. But I know how that feeling is because it's the same way when we travel. Sometimes we can't put the seat down or or the seat back. Um, this time driving from Idaho to Texas, we couldn't because we actually had the cats set up behind the passenger. Um, and the driver, actually. The big one. The big one was amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't think I ever told you this because I haven't had it playing with me. This is so talkative. But there's this cat carrier that is long. So it's big and it's tall enough to have two grown like adult cats, right? And it comes with a pop-up litter box. Cause that's what I was worried about. I was like, oh my gosh, like what are we gonna do? Like it's gonna take us forever to get somewhere because we're gonna have to pull over, wait for them to poo or whatever. Like I can't we can't do this. Like so this portable um, litter box is absolutely amazing. It was awesome. All right. So yeah, I would bring, the cats would be separated in the morning. Annabelle had a hard time. Normally she's really good traveling. She's very quiet in the car and nothing bothers her, but the first night we did stay at a pet friendly hotel and I think the smells scared her. Luna wasn't scared, she was exploring the room, everything was fine, but at night Annabelle gave me a heart attack. She was just hissing and she was pissed, you guys. Just like not herself at all and I felt so bad and I didn't know what to do. Like she was hissing at us, um, she was hiding like behind the headboard of the bed. So you had like, so we were able to move the bed forward and we saw her and she was looking at me, but she was just like growling the whole time. Like it woke me up in the middle of the night. I thought a dog or some other animal broke into our room and it was growling. Like that's how loud she was being. And it scared me because I've never heard her do that before. So I was really, 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 really freaked out. I kind of want to add that I got Uber Eats for Taco Bell because <laughs> I am that lazy and I was that hungry. I was like, I want Taco Bell. So we ordered Uber Eats for Taco Bell. I'm going to put down that we watched Mandalorian. Again, I don't know when exactly the new episode came out, but we did watch it. That was a thing. And that's a bunch of like cutting stuff. And I did shop for the planer mayhem sale. So I had to mark that. But anyway, so... Yeah, so in the car, when I put her back in her thing, she was growling and hissing at her sister, Luna. Like, Luna couldn't even calm her down. So I had them separated in the morning, both in their each individual cat carrier. Luna was in the big one. And then whenever I felt like it was time for them to start using the bathroom, that's when I should have switched this. That's when I moved Annabelle to the big one. And she actually didn't really hiss at her sister in the cat carrier. It was really weird. The cat carrier, I think because it was more confined, even though the big one had plenty of room and they could walk around until I put the litter box in there. Cause the litter box took half of it. And then they had plenty of space for them to like cuddle 
and I also gave him water. So that was a traveling experience. Um, I love that cat carrier. If anybody's interested, just let me know and I'll send you guys a link to Amazon because I got off of Amazon, but oops. Well, I don't know how to do that. Maybe I won't use that one. Yeah. She just, she's better now. We brought her back when we got her here and she finally stayed here. She was fine. We went to Colorado, stayed two days over there at my friend's place who has two small dogs and she was fine. She stayed upstairs. Um, the dogs, when we were out traveling, got locked up in the bedroom, in my friend's bedroom. So the cats roomed around the tiny house, literally a tiny house. And, um, but whenever we were home and the dogs were downstairs, they didn't really go upstairs. Annabelle was fine. She slept with us in bed, which she hasn't done since she was like a baby. So, I don't know, I felt so bad for her, but she's fine now. She hasn't hissed, she hasn't growled. She's roaming her, you know, took over the house. She's actually sleeping right next to me right now. She's in her cat scratch posting that's up higher so they can look out the window seal or look out the window so she's sleeping right now so thank god that's over with because i just that really scared me but we looked it up you know when she was growling late at night we looked it up and i realized there was nothing it basically said there's nothing you can do you have to wait until they calm down it's basically anxiety because she does have a heart murmur, and that's what really scared me. It's like I thought she was going to, like, literally scare herself to death. Because if that happens with humans, I can only imagine it would, it could happen to an animal, right? That they get, they get so scared of their heart, especially if they already have a bad heart. So, but it's okay. She's fine. We went back to sleep, and she was fine. I don't think we'll ever do a hotel like that again, but we might not have a choice. It just sucks because you know they put you in a room that's pet friendly. It was not fun. Poor Annabelle. But anyways, moving on. What else happened? So yeah, the whole Florida trip, the wedding, came back started working and working and working and working that's probably why I haven't been filming is because really wanted to get these listings up and it was so weird because every single time I tried to do a listing Etsy was like nope like I couldn't copy I couldn't do all this basic stuff and I was calling Karina and I'm just like can you work can you get in and at one point, Etsy did shut down because they offered, it is called Klima or whatever. It's similar to Afterpay where if you spend $50, you can get, you can choose a month to month option and it splits up your payments if you, for that transaction. So they shut down Etsy for a day for them to upload that. But I think it's my, either my internet or my computer hates me. But we're figuring it out, we're figuring it out. But the internet did like crash, or not crash, it just decided not to stop working. So I was like, oh, I might as well film. So I ate some lunch and now I'm filming. I'm gonna put this in the middle. So for Halloween, uh, we did some errands. We went to, which is this day that I'm like not talking about at all. We kind of dressed up in our costumes and went out to the comic book stores, which was super fun. And um, Vince actually won a drawing. I don't even know if it's over here. I could have showed you guys. But um, he won something, which was awesome. And what else did we do? Our friends had a comic book auction so we were he was in there looking at it tidied up a bit changed the sheets i did the budget vince was on call in the morning but he didn't get called in so that's nice but yeah 
we came back home we chilled um nightmare before christmas is a must that is a tradition of mine i have to watch nightmare before christmas on halloween and on christmas day that's just how it is um the grinch is i normally like to watch that on christmas eve so those are the movies that are kind of like more tradition how the grinch sold christmas with um jim carrey right yes because austin powers was the cat in the hat <laughs> i always have to like think about it i'm just like um but yeah love love those movies you guys have you guys seen the new Milan movie? You guys will have to let me know because I was kind of butthurt that Disney was going to be like, oh, if you spend $29, why do I need to spend $29 just to see this movie new? Like, I get it. You can't go to the theater and you're not, you're losing money that way. But really, especially if you have the pass or you're paying for Disney Plus, plus Hulu and ESPN and all that, I'm just like, man, just let me watch the new Mulan. So I kind of refuse to pay the $29. <laughs> I think that's silly. It's gonna, so I get to wait until December to watch the new Milan movie. But we did watch the cartoon movie one Sunday night. I'm getting ahead of myself, I know, but just letting you guys know. Cause I did do a Mulan spread for my horizontal, which I didn't film, but you know. But here, it was Vince's day to do an Instagram live. So I think I'm just gonna put that here. So this is when we record it. So we both did it together. I came in kind of late because I was still um, doing some transfer tape on the vinyls, but still was able, I popped in, sold some vinyls, he sold some books. Then I was like, I'm hungry. And I was like, for some reason, I'm craving pizza. And then I couldn't find, for some reason, we get commercials for Hungry Howie's. And I'm like, oh my God, that crazy bread. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't care. It's cheap. But you know what? They have the best crazy bread. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, so good. And even though there's like a lot of good pizza places in Texas, don't get me wrong. It's just some of them, on Uber Eats at least, are a little too fancy. Some of them are too fancy. And some of them are just like, it's expensive. Because they're, I'm sure they're made like way better than Domino's or Hungry Howie's. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you're getting your money's worth. But I didn't want to get my money's worth. I just wanted <laughs> a fat, cheap pizza. So there's no Hungry Howie's around here. So we went to, we did Domino's instead. Whatever. It is what it is. Not a, I'm ashamed, but I'm not ashamed because I hate getting franchise. I love doing more mom and pop places or franchises that are within that state. Cause like we tried Whataburger, right? I keep calling it Whataburger, so I don't want to offend anybody. It's what a burger? Like what a burger? What a burger? I can't. I can't say it fast. I still mess it up. So I didn't end up planning. Sunday, obviously, because I'm planning today. Stop shaking. So, Whataburger is okay. Um, Florida, I think, is more used to, where I'm from, is more used to having um, ketchup on our burgers. Whataburger uses mustard, which is not a bad thing, but... I'm not used to it to the point where like all I tasted was mustard at one point and one bite was like a lot of mustard. I'm just like, no, I just can't do it. Can't do it. So we tried it. We're good. We're moving on. There's so many other places that we can get burgers from. So no worries. So yeah, so something like that water burger that's a franchise here like but we uh, I haven't tried Jack in the Box because I know that was in Idaho Oregon it's a northern thing Florida didn't have any Jack in the Boxes at least not where I was at so that I don't mind missing because I think Vince said he had it and he wasn't a fan so I'm just like okay 
whatever. I won't have it either. Not like I want fast food, but sometimes you're, especially when you're traveling like on the road, sometimes that's what you get. So, it is one of those. Daylight savings, that happened. Oh, that's right. That is weird. I wonder if that doesn't change because of the day. I thought it did. That's weird. Because I could have sworn maybe it did start Sunday or Saturday. I don't remember. All right. So, obviously, we're just going to continue lying here because I think I'm going to cover that up. Or maybe not because it's really close to the bottom. But we're going to pretend I did my nails. So, we're just going to... I was not going to put it down, but... I already pulled the stickers for it. It's okay. You won't tattle tail on me. And then Sunday, I was just so exhausted. Like, I wasn't talkative during the live as much. I was just like, I'm done. I'm out of it. But it was funny because we were in bed and I was like, I'm kind of hungry. And he goes, me too. So that's when we got up and had a snack and started watching Move On. And I just finished watching the rest of it at um lunchtime. So... There you have it. There's my week. Sorry I was so talkative and trying to catch you guys up on what's been going on with my life. But there's not a whole lot left as far as like leftovers go. We got some functional things. But that's it. There's no birthdays. So if you guys celebrated a birthday, happy hop a birthday to yo. And let me open this up. You're probably not going to see any foil action because my lighting is like not there. So maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this playing with me. Thank you so much. You guys, I know it's been forever. I'm going to try my best to be more active. I think once I get all my listings done and the shop opens and everything, I'll be able to be more on a routine. I'm still trying to find that groove early in the morning because Vince leaves early in the morning. So not fun, but Oh yeah, if you guys didn't notice, um, this is the Hot Mess Express over at Savannah Paper Co. This is a washi cutter that I used. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. She has this one, an iridescent, and a black one. So if they're still in stock, I would snag them up. And of course, she does have her washi stickers kit, obviously. So, Anywho, alright you guys, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys had a great day or night. Whenever you guys are watching this, I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll chat more about my shop, okay?